And this week's live phone interview features a homie from Salt Lake City, Utah, representing. We got the homie G Life on the line right now. How you doing tonight, brother? Oh, good, man. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome, man. You know, uh, how's it going over there, man? Pretty good. Think, yeah, things are great. You know, I'm about like uh, I got family out there in Tucson. Uh, we're not that far away. You know, it's not too late for me. It's not too late for you, I assume. Oh, no, 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 no. I've been doing this for a long time, man. So, uh, you know, I'm up and ready to go. And I appreciate you giving me a call, you know. Uh, and, you know, if you want to introduce yourself to all the listeners out there real quick, you know, a little background of your music history and all that good stuff. Sure, I appreciate it. Yeah, my name is G-Life. My name is George. I go by G-Life. And the website's georgelife.com. And a hip-hop artist out of I've been spring to Nate in Canada for the last five years. I'm a member of Battle Axe Warriors, the positive hip-hop movement. And, um, you know, it's lyrical hip-hop. It's uh, political hip-hop. It tells a story. And um, I was in Tucson recently at the Flycatcher Lounge. Johnny Red brought us out. And uh, we, we just finished our West tour, and we're headed east. And I appreciate you guys giving You cut it off a little bit, brother. Can you hear me? Yeah, yep. All right, all right. And you represent Salt Lake City, Utah, man. You know, and uh, congratulations, man. Uh, just today I saw that you're at number, uh, number seven on the Canadian uh, hip-hop charts over there. On the Earshot Top 10. Yeah. yeah, two weeks in a row. Yeah, man, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it wouldn't be possible without radio DJs and radio shows like you, the community radio programs, you know. Um, it's basically the CMJ was the USA and Canada version and those charts kind of failed so um, we're on earshot charts with, and we're all over the radio um, 54 stations across the US and 16 across Canada and it's all an independent all independent and yeah man so thank you so much for giving a shot to independent artists like myself you're very welcome, man. And this uh, album, My Rise, is your third solo album. Talk a little bit about it, man. And uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to get into your track with Mad Child. If you want to, you know, let the people know a little bit about this album right here. Thank you. Yeah, My Rise is my, my third solo album. And <laughs> it's uh, a story about <coughs> how I've come up from the bottom, you know, and got in a van and drove city to city and did whatever we could and uh, <clears throat> the title track My Rise is kind of how you see artists and you see them at their best you see them at their shine you don't see all the work that goes into it you don't see them up at um, you know four in the morning doing press kits or whatever we gotta do um, so and then I, I was lucky enough to get some of my touring buddies on the on the lineup with me. I went on tour last year with Slain from La Coca Nostra and Special Teams. And I got a song with him called Game Change. That's a really good one. It's just about how the game, the industry has changed. Now it's all about um, Instagram numbers and selfies. And, you know, for example, I just saw a story on the news today about this guy's prom proposal went went viral, you know, and um, so you got a dude who can propose to prom, and and he's he's getting more video views than I am, and people who've been in the industry for ten years, and now it's got to be a gimmick, and it's not about storytelling in real life. Um, and then I also got Mad Child and Adlib on the album; those are my two Battle Axe Warrior brothers, and I was lucky enough. Mad Child from Swollen Members took me on a mini tour this year. I went on tour with Adlib, so I went on tour with all three of those guys, and um, it's a really good album, it's good production, it's just all friends and family, and I, I'm really stoked on it, and I'm, I'm glad you guys like it. It seems to be something that people like, and I'm really happy about that. Congratulations on that, and also I was reading that $1 per CD has been donated in advance to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, if you want to talk about that real quick. Yeah, you know, um, in this life of music and hip-hop and, and a lot of the people who listen to hip-hop, we live um, lives of struggle and sometimes there's drug abuse and violence 
and most always suicide. We lost a lot of good friends this year, including a, a really good family supporter named Casey Oki. And right before the album dropped, she passed away. So we decided to, we ordered 600 copies of the album, so we just made a flat donation of $600. So that's where the $1 in advance goes. That's where it comes from. But um, as you may or may not know, a lot of artists don't even make their $600 back or $1,000 back. CDs are almost promotional now, as opposed to, you know, an investment. So it really was just a donation to the cause because it's a, it's a cause that's very deep to myself and everyone involved in the album. Um, you know, it's tragic when young people lose their lives in any way, but suicide affects us all. I'm sure it's affected you and it's, uh, we, we're really glad to be able to do something about it and open up a conversation point. I, I had, on my last album, it was called One Five, I had a song um, called Love is the Cure with Two Mechs. And uh, that was a song about suicide. And if, if you listen to the album, you know, there's a lot of themes uh, about death. And, you know, it really haunts you and it really causes traumatic experience. And um, so we hope if someone has a problem that they reach out and we put the suicide hotline on there. And uh, hopefully it'll make a difference. I hope so too, man. You know, and uh, that's real cool and real dope that you're doing that. You know, not a lot of, not a lot of people are doing that right now. And you know, and for those that want to listen to your music, you know, to get by, uh, where can we find uh, some of your music? You know, you're on Spotify, all that good stuff. If you want to, you know, share some of the links. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm really stoked to be on Pandora and Spotify. Um, G Life. So if you just go to Pandora.com/slash/GLife or Spotify.com/slash/GLife. Um, and then I have the links to everything on my official website, georgelife.com. Um, there's a 20 song download on Bandcamp. That'd be georgelife.bandcamp.com. But everything is linked to georgelife.com. And you can see some really cool music videos that we've done with Slain and with AdLib. And um, lots of free music there. And you also got the official music video to the. Game Change uh, song right there as well? Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. You know, Slane is a professional actor as well. He's been in movies with Brad Pitt and The Town with Ben Affleck. And most recently, he had a cameo in uh, Central Intelligence with The Rock and Kevin Hart. So you probably recognize him if you watch the video. And uh, he was a really cool dude. So the video's in 4K on YouTube, so... You can watch on those cool new TVs. And yeah. That's what's up, man. Congratulations. What do you got planned for 2017 and beyond, man? You know, well, are you going to come to Tucson again, man? And, uh, you know, let us know a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be coming back down there probably around um, August or September. I know it's really hot, but probably September. Um and yeah we, we, we'll hit the little circuit last time we were lucky enough to play Tempe and Tucson so I think we got a Flagstaff Tempe Tucson on this next run and um, we'll definitely be coming back shout out to Johnny Red for making that happen that's what's up that's what's up man you want to send some shout outs before we get to this track right here with uh, Matt Chow from you with yeah I'll just give a shout out to my producer Lamb Self Expression Music and to uh, Matt Child himself for taking me on this run and doing the track. And shout out to everyone who listens and supports independent music. 91.3 KXCI, Tucson, Real People, Real Radio. Much love to G Life, George Life, representing Salt Lake City, Utah. You can check them out. We're going to play this song right here, right now. But check them out on Facebook, Spotify, all that good stuff. Google him. And uh, once again, man, thank you very much. And congratulations. And I wish you nothing but success. And I'll talk to you soon, man. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Much love. Much love. Peace. Peace. Yeah. G Life. Mad Child. All night. Yeah. It's late at night. All, all, all these people. 
people came just to see you yeah. Oh, what a sight Step, step, tell their children that they got to meet you On a night like this Like this On a night like this Like this On a night like this Dreams do exist White is powder, but I can't hear a thing. I'm yelling, turn the dish up louder. I've done it all and seen it all, so ain't no point in fronting. So hungry, like I'm living in a third world country. On the prowl and hunting, mad is really something. Kids are sugar dumplings, smash their head like pumpkins. So happy Halloween, the angry teens, this is a mean joint. We going crazy like it's Devil's Night in Detroit. Skull on my face like it's Dia de los Muertos. Kill another verse and then I'm driving to the airport. Dropping off the whip at Enterprise, I stay incentivized. Kill as many rappers as I can, I am genocide. Hot mess, thought process of the Loch Ness. Going Deeper hiding from the world that is progress Seem like to smash it Meanest it'll be sad You will see me rise again A phoenix from the ash I'm a arsonist Don't care about your groups attire I just came to rock